Hey, folks, I'm Sarah Bowden here um, in Sydney, um, and um, I'm very grateful for this opportunity to talk about um, Greenback um, and where we're up to. Um, first of all, I have to say that um, I'm um, the CEO of the farm. Um, and please just uh, benefit and because of that, I own some of the, um, the company. So, what is Brainback? Well, Brainback um, is a mixture of two things. Um, it, the um, enzyme has to be a stop it, um, and that's from the stem of the pineapple plant. Um, we actually then process that um, to make. Um, and it's mixed with acid toxicity. Um, that's what we discovered some years ago, um, we by experiment, is um, that when these two agents combine, their effect is That's because of those that break the bonds in the use of other um, that is our discovery that's what we have to do. Um, whether it's going to be reptile bonds or the backbone of this, and that's an all-system going to process bonds and commercial terms. Um, and you said it's really important to have to be excited about it. It's also an important part of our defensive cells. And by uh, disrupting that uh, is going to be the effect of some toxins and their penetration. Um, the current status of Brahman um, or Brahman is that uh, we've obtained um, a drug designation via our FDA and some major um, jurisdiction to the world. We've got an IND um, submitting for security use and for ecological purposes. We've completely phased out of phase 1B in oncology. Um, we've got a phase two program um, beginning um, within the um, next couple of months, um, and we've actually got about 40 extras. So, I'd like to say it's really a set of our clinical work. Um, first thing we did was to look at safety. Um, um, then we took human um, sleeping soda, the bits of the economy, um, all the drugs, and us, and shows how to solve the things that are the And we have a tendon of some synagogues to help us avoid the best to see from our own customers. Um, we've seen synergy, um, synergy to sign boxes that actually have some others, um, in our world, and also their, um, their problems. Um, we've done some work in talking about some and actually methods
Bob John pushes himself straight up into the Ha! It's a good way of the In a study, we involved um, 20 patients that had a tumor that was spreading against the tumor, and they were the same as the patient that had a tumor that was spreading against the tumor. The other patients had a tumor that was spreading against the tumor, and that could have been such as a low-grade fever, or some joint side pain, 12.5% of the low-grade serious. In terms of efficacy, seven five percent reported reduction in um, symptoms. There's around eighty five percent of patients have a objective response. And interestingly, the most important fifty percent of patients did not progress at fifteen months. Farm <laughs> safety is a very effective and serious adverse events. So there's five side related to the virus, which were um, trained to search for the tumor or where the tumor was hard, so it was one of the different tumors as well. The three patients, um, as mentioned, required admission because of a bleed in the liver, and that was before the joint went through the liver, it was intentional, and the patients were to the patient. And also, um, this year, I don't see this year, I don't have any so, as well. And the reason for that is because 
Tables, particular patients, tumors, plugging, or all of the other factors that are so bad with blood and so forth. The tumor, because of blood, we have to keep that in soon, and how it's out of the home. And one patient with direct pressure out of pressure and dominant sepsis. So, based on limitations that has us to um, design phase two studies, is that use of others? is a, uh, a limitation in what that penetration will uh, spread within the cavity because of the difficult or the of the spine. Our children in speech would have some of the good outcomes in, but they would find that exposure to the drug or to ensure it's more population treatments. Tumor accessibility, so for example, if the tumor is coming to the normal or if it's a big part of the patient, if it's difficult to access percutaneously, um, then that's it requires an advanced skill intervention of radiologists because we're accessing the tumor from the outside in and we're seeing to extend it. So we do need that skill to be able to put the drain into place. And the longevity of the is still gathering. The longevity of the moment, we're still gathering our home data on that and we're able to assess. This in the phase two study, um, treatment longevity, longevity as well as the quality of life and points. And since the phase one, uh, we've done an additional 21 patients in Australia on compassion use um, access programs, as well as 16 patients overseas. Um, and importantly, in those, the series, um, series adverts that they rate has remained the same and efficacy outcomes in the quality of life. Improvement in tumor related symptoms and production for the survivors have been quite comparable to the phase one study. And in our um, compassionate use patients, we've also treated two with tumor in the lot. Um, one of those uh, responded very well. Um, the Spanish experience, this is Dr. Alvaro Arjonas, um, speaking in Cordova. They conducted a phase one and phase one B study in 10 patients, which was supported by the hospital and their government, um, where they did exactly the same as us in our phase one study, um, except they provided it and set three days of BOMAC um, one day per day at a standard dose and administered 20% of the estimated tumor volume. Um, they didn't see to scale on day four to assess immediate outcome, as well as 30 days. Um, so the one was yeah. right. It's just some scans um, here showing the pre treatment, tumor volume of 446 mils, and post treatment of the day four scan of 225 mils. And this is their outcome of all the patients that they treated. So Roughly, or at least half, had a good outcome in the roadmap treatment. So, uh, we have uh, six um, centers around the world that have been uh, taken on the phase two, uh, instead of three in Europe, three in um, the United States. Uh, the um, entry criteria are that they should have a useful therapy on the tumor with a um, defined cavity, and they should be uh, in uh, They will have two cycles of um, bread out of days, one or three, and um, about seven um, so up to 12 months follow up. Um, the efficacy of treatment is assessed by radiology of the phone out of the tumor. Um, we also have calls with health and one of the items on the human mind, progression free survival, symptomatic resolution, and time to progression. Um, one of the things that um, Sarah said is that um, we're now increasingly confident um, that this treatment can be free. And we're planning on an interim analysis um, at 19 patients um, and um, submission to the EMA. Um, but, um, we hope that will allow 
Thank you very much. 